How's it going everybody? This is Mr. Augustus. I wanted to check in because the kids are getting ready to start their next project for social studies. We just finished in reading their big project on the board games, which I was super impressed with. They all did an extremely good job. Um, and so I'm always really excited when we do this next project. It's called the Explorer Cereal Box. And what I really wanted to do was send out this quick video, give you an idea on what they would be working on and what they might be doing at home. Also let you know where the rubric's gonna be. So they'll have, I will post and send this out. This is the rubric for their cereal box. It tells them everything that they're supposed to have on the cereal box. They've been working on an Explorer document with information for their own specific Explorer. And now they're gonna turn it into a cereal box to describe and give people information on that Explorer. What it is, is they basically will take a cereal box, we'll wrap them here in class. Uh, everybody's been bringing them in and I've got extras and we'll get them all wrapped tomorrow so they'll have them ready to work on as of tomorrow. And then they're gonna take that cereal box and they're gonna get creative and be able to give us some information about their Explorer. Um, so like for instance, Robert LaSalle, this one here was created, they made LaSalle loops. You can see here, the kids are allowed to use the computer and send me images that I can print for them to put onto their cereal box. Or, in another example, they are allowed to do everything in hand and draw the box on there as much as they'd like. The big thing with this one is that the idea is that they're able to take the box, one side of the box will have a biography of their Explorer, one side will have fun facts and information about their Explorer, or the Explorer's trips, where they, where they discovered, and then on the back, they'll use it to incorporate some fun games with some information about their explorer's journeys and then also show a map of the explorer's journeys there. So a fun way for them to kind of get involved and, and then we will display these out in the hall for our fourth grade classes. So this is what they're gonna be working on. We do have this um, set to be due on November 16th, so they've got some time. My hope with these big projects is that it gives them the, the feeling of accomplishment as they're able to kind of work on them piece by piece and then get a bigger project done and turned in. Hopefully it's helping them generate those lifelong skills uh, of being able to get a project done on time, being able to kind of self-pace themselves. But I wanted to make sure that, that you kind of have a, a know-how of what's going on so you can kind of help give some of that nudging because there is that tendency to, to let them slide and then try to finish it right at the last minute. And that's certainly not what we want. We don't want it to be stressful or anything like that. I want to give them that extra time so they can um, do a nice job on it. On the rubric, you'll see here everything is spelled out. Again, I'll send this out and then I'll also post it on the Google Classroom. If you have any questions, as always, just reach out, give me a call. I can help answer any of the questions on there. The kids will be bringing the cereal boxes home tomorrow um, and then I'm always available to help. Thanks guys, bye.